For the first time in more than half a century, Americans are heading back to the moon. As Derek Dennis reports, if all goes well, a lander and some precious cargo are expected to land on the lunar surface next month. And liftoff of the first United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket. Liftoff some 50 years after the first American mission to the moon, a new American rocket is on its own giant leap for mankind. Launching overnight from Cape Canaveral, marking the first lunar launch from the U.S. since NASA's final Apollo mission. The brand new rocket, the Vulcan, is made by the private space company United Launch Alliance, hoping to jump into the commercial space tourism industry. If all goes according to plan, a small lunar landing will touch down on the moon on February 23rd. They ask us as a company to buy a launch vehicle um, and to uh, build a lander that can deliver their payloads, in this case science payloads, to the surface of the moon. Rod Roddenberry, son of Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry, paying special attention to the launch on board several experiments and the remains of 70 people, including Roddenberry and Star Trek actress Nichelle Nichols. He and the first lady of Star Trek along with a number of the other cast members from Star Trek, along with countless other prominent, wonderful people. Their ashes and their DNA are going to join together and be launched out. Humanity is going where no one has gone before. Astrobotics, the company behind the lander, warns the mission is still risky. It is a quarter million miles away. It is in the vacuum of space. Um, you are controlling a vehicle that uh, you can't use a joystick with from here on Earth. And 2024 could be the year of the lunar lander with five U.S. spacecraft and at least one Japanese lander heading to the moon this year with the goals of lowering the cost of moon missions and working towards getting American tourists to the moon. Derek Dennis, ABC News. It was, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it appears the mission may be doomed because of a fuel leak. The lander was turned toward the sun today, so its solar panel can capture sunlight, which could charge the onboard battery. But the leak was reported just hours after liftoff early this morning. Mm.